If you've ever seen comedian Liz Winstead, you know that no topic is off limits. And this year, <laughs> it's all about the big headlines, and they're no exception either. So we're excited to welcome her to the fore. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, thanks for having me. We've got a New Year's show coming up. Uh, you've been known to have this sort of tradition. Last year, it was bang the dumb slowly. Yes. What's this year's theme? There's plenty of dumb still this, out there. Yeah, there's plenty of dumb. This year, it's called Bad Men and Some Crappy Women. So it's kind okay. of covering behaviors, behaviors of the year from mostly garbage people. I think I like that it's inclusive. You got men and women. Yeah, you know, it turns out that sometimes women aren't great. <laughs> Just going to put that out there into the world. 2022 filled with uh, plenty of headlines, plenty of tough things, but things that we probably want to make light of too. I know that's kind of your shtick to yeah. an extent. Yeah. What, what's your comedic philosophy here? My comedic philosophy is you can talk about any subject if you understand who the targets are mm -hmm. and you punch up. You know, so it's never punching down, it's always punching up. Looking at how the powerful have either done stupid things or used their power for evil. And that's kind of how I choose where I take my path. The more turbulent the year, does that mean the more content you have to, to go through and come up with? It, it does, and it also means so much stuff to not, I have to cut. Mm -hmm. You know, I have probably, and this is no joke, six hours of material Wow! and I have to do a 90 minute show. So there's a lot of chopping. I often say to people when you come to my show, it's like, you know when you see the Rolling Stones and you're bummed, there was a couple songs you didn't hear. It's gonna kind of be like that too. Yeah. I'm gonna hit the greatest hits, I'll hit some other things, but it's impossible. It's impossible because people say things every day that yeah. are bonkers. I can't cover every single sound bite. So I have to sort of do these generalizations and then sort of deep dive and liz it up. You could be like going through setting up your whole entire show and then the day before a content bomb could drop across the headlines. You mean like tr like Friday that the tax returns are dropping? Exactly. I, I literally was, was watching your show earlier and I, I just wanted to weep because I'm like, I have to write material now. Mm -hmm. about, I mean, not that I haven't already, but it's just like more stuff. I just wish people would calm down, but they don't. Patriarchy and creepiness doesn't take a holiday, so I can't either. Besides whittling down what you think is going to be the best stuff, maybe get the most laughs, how do you decide if something might be off limits? I know we have some tough topics like COVID, for example, but a lot of times we, we use humor to get through these things. So how do you decide? I, I don't think anything's off limits because everybody is experiencing it, right? And so to sort of look at yourself and how you deal with COVID, I think can be very relatable to people. I mean, I sat through the pandemic basically with an air fryer on my lap, eating French fries right out of it in my underwear. Sadly, there, and thankfully there wasn't cameras. Work but, from home. You know, work <laughs> from home. Um, so I think that we all, I think we go through a lot of stuff and I think that whether it's the fall of Roe v. Wade, whether it's what happened at Mar-a-Lago, whether it's how is Biden doing, whether it's Twitter's imploding, um, there's room to really explore um, how it all affects us and who are the players in it that are not so great. Mm -hmm. You mentioned uh, bought a house here. So yes. Often, are you planning to be, are you putting the roots back into Minnesota? Do you live in multiple places? I live in Brooklyn and I live here now. Um, and it's really, you know, I've lived most of my adult life in apartments in New York and now I'm in a house. So now I'm experiencing um, next door, which is <laughs> oh, um, kind of a racist lost and found. I'm not sure I like being on next door. There is a lot of creepy people. I don't know if that person's supposed to be in my neighborhood. They have a bucket. It's like, honey, it's rainy. Everyone yeah. has a bucket. But, you know, it is. <laughs> Wild. So I'm experiencing stuff that I never have before that I've heard tell of, and now I am thoroughly entrenched. Next door, I don't know if I'm getting news tips from there or just shaking my head half the time. I mean, I, sometimes like I mentioned. think next door eventually is going to just have a seat at the White House press corps at some <laughs> just point. Just join in. Nancy from next door, I've got something to say. Yeah. You see those questions for sure. <laughs> Liz, thank you so much for Thanks joining for us. Me. A pleasure having you. Liz Wenstead's Year in Review, Bad Men and Some Crappy Women, is Friday and Saturday night at the Parkway Theater in Minneapolis. Tickets starting at $50. We've got more details on WCCO.com.